Don't feel you need to be a part of these social constructs in order to be liked. Aim to please a bigger cause. Reality TV on my planet. Hmm, hey, what's up guys? Lexa here. So I wanted to make a very important video and get this point across because I heard um, an entrepreneur, I think his name is Gary Vaynerchuk. I heard him say, every minute counts. And as the queen of multitasking, I can completely agree with that. We have to balance so much in this generation, it's ridiculous. We work, we pursue dreams, we practice, we schedule, we create, we progress, we maintain, clean, shower, organize, socialize, network, pay bills, and set aside time for our family. I'm never really free or bored, as one would call it. And I can't really recall many times in my life where I ever really was bored. I think the last time I was probably eight years old. I have many daily routines that keep me sharp, fit, and progressing towards my goal on schedule. And these are things that I genuinely enjoy doing. So after I work, um, I'm usually working on my own personal business. And when I'm not working on that, I'm working out. And when I'm not working out my body, I'm working out my voice. And when I'm not doing that, I like to spend time clearing my head, listening to music, playing the piano, writing lyrics, researching, trying to trying to fix the glitches in my system, as I like to call it. And when I'm not doing that, I'm usually cleaning myself or cleaning my house. And when I can, I try to answer back emails, texts, messages I get on all my social media. Every minute counts. The important thing is don't be afraid to say no or drown certain things out or turn down certain things. Life's very short and whether you have a goal or not, it's good to spend time being your own best friend and working on things that you enjoy working on. Learning, growing, it's the best thing that you can do. And if you want something in life, don't put it off. Start now. Write it down, plan it out, execute ideas in your head. All that time it takes you to get ready, drive out, waste your gas, waste your money and your creative energy. That's four hours you could have spent at home building and working on things that mean a lot to you that are creative and going to benefit your future or even just having your own personal time to think and relax and rest and sleep. Sleep is so important. Another important thing is to spend time with people who add to your cause, not take away from it. Wanna chill? What? <laughs> no bro. I don't chill, I work. Hey what's up, wanna talk? No, bro, because right now I'm doing. Selfish? Nah. Smart. And don't feel bad when people say, oh my god, do you watch this show, or did you watch that show, or did you go to this show? A lot of people have FOMO, or what we call fear of missing out. Don't feel bad, it just means that you have your priorities in line, and you're responsible. Responsibilities that include doing the dishes, hitting the gym, not binge watching Orange is the New Black. And while you're at home, this is even more important, and while you're at home, don't waste those hours living life through a screen, looking at memes, scrolling through Facebook, liking statuses of other people living their life. It's unproductive to your dreams. Although it is good to kind of, you know, have some time to enjoy things that you like enjoying, whatever it may be. But remember, all with balance. Don't feel you need to be a part of these pointless social constructs in order to be like, I wasted too much of my time in the past doing that, doing things other people wanted me to do or thought I should do. And sometimes I think to myself, you know, I could have been a lot further along by now. Some people might think it's rude or harsh, but the whole point is to not be a people pleaser, but to aim to please yourself and a bigger cause, which doesn't mean you genuinely don't care. I mean, if people didn't need their ego stroked, all the time and we're more self-sufficient, I think we'd be much more able to take care of ourselves. We would be able to change the world. Was Steve Jobs a people pleaser? No. And a lot of people might disagree with that, but if you think about it, um, you know, he did help a lot of people, but that's because he focused on himself and his visions. And Bill Gates, he was very smart and very effective with his time and his money. So now he can donate millions to other people to help their dreams and their goals. Being antisocial doesn't mean you don't care. It just means that you don't care on a shallow level. I mean, if you look at, at people like this, they weren't sitting around messaging people on Tinder. They genuinely cared about people and what inspired them on a much bigger cognitive level. They were helping change the world, were helping other people, by helping themselves. Just like your parents, you might think, oh, you know, they genuinely don't care or get me, like, you know, they don't 
like do things like my friends do, but they're busy setting you up for a great future. They're busy working hard to help you out, making sure your goals are met and that there's food in your stomach. By taking a step back, organizing your life, and spending more time on things that you want to achieve, doing things that might further your dream, anything is possible. Every minute counts. I hope this video sort of inspired you to really be more self-aware, self-sufficient. I hope it puts some perspective on, you know, the purpose of life and spending your time the way you want to spend your time and doing things to benefit yourself. And I think if we all take some time to benefit ourselves more and do things more for ourselves, we won't need the, you know, opinions or likeness of other people. Huge shout out to TJ Harris, uh, Get Nasty. I got this uh, Letterman jacket and it says... Alexa Terrestrial. No, I'm not wearing pants, but prom do over baby. Yeah, this is amazing. I've always wanted a Letterman jacket and I wanted to wear it in a video. If you like my bow, I make these bows. Um, they're houndstooth. Uh, you can check them out on my Facebook or my site. So again, spend your time learning, researching, practicing, doing things that help you um, further pursue something that you want to do, whether it's learning something new or just learning new things about something you already know a lot about. Get yourself on a daily schedule that has certain things mandatory that you must do every day. And these things could be little things, a bunch of little things that add up. It could be um, working on something for a half an hour every day, you know, doing this for five minutes every day, doing that for five minutes every day. And like, I have a bunch of like notes all over my walls, you know, as reminders. Every little bit helps. Every minute counts. Take more time out of your day to spend on you. Even if you don't have any goals or you don't have any dreams and you're happy with where you're at, take time to develop something else in your life that to prove to yourself that you can do it. Life is very short and, you know, when you're on your deathbed, you're not going to say, oh, I wish I, you know, went out and drank more and hooked up with random people or I, I wish I messaged more people and or I wish I watched more TV. I don't think you're going you're gonna to be saying those things. You know, you're going to be wishing that you put effort into things that you, you know, might have put off because you were worried too much about what other people might think of you or even just too afraid and making up other excuses. So spend your time wisely, you know, and by all means, spend a lot of time alone developing your own goals and even just having a more introspective look on yourself and how you work writing and figuring out how things affect you and how you can maybe change or become a better person. If this video helped. Take time even just to relax and to spend some time being your own best friend. Bang.